it's in early 2012, one of our eight-year-olds walks in with his math homework, sits down, looks at it for a while with this sort of grim look on his face, says, I have heartburn, gets up and walks out the door. We sort of all look at each other and say, we got we to gotta change this. Welcome to the Big Brain Superheroes. In many ways, the BBSC's goal has been to dismantle this wall we've seen between what kids considered learning and what they considered fun. This wall we realized was a huge obstacle to helping more kids in Yesler develop and make wise use of their creativity, their critical thinking, their persistence, their willpower, what we in the Big Brain Superheroes Club call our superpowers. So we put these kids who are really often pushed aside by the world or when they get attention from it, it's almost always negative attention. We put them at the center of the action in the big brains and empower them to discover, explore, imagine, pursue new challenges through which they gain the skills to learn and build for themselves, or as we like to say, build the world they want to live in. What does that world look like? In the big brains, that can mean building something personally meaningful or interesting, as one of our older big brains, who originally expressed a lot of stress around electronics and electronics development, Start coming in every Saturday for months and months and eventually designed and developed this handheld game he had envisioned. Or Big Greens can build things for the community, even going so far as to structurally change the BBSE itself, as some older kids did when they got together and created the Big Brain Buddy Program, in which their job became to mentor and work with their younger neighbors on their projects and superpower development. No matter what Big Brains decide to work on in the club, is our job as volunteer sidekicks, the adults in the room, to be constantly encouraging them and challenging them to, as we say, nerd it up. That is, to always be looking for ways to make whatever they're working on more dynamic, more thought-provoking, more engaging to themselves and to the world around them. Because there's a reality here that big brain superheroes have endless potential for doing great things. And if they're going to truly embrace that reality for themselves, we have to embrace it first. The BBSC is important to me personally because I really want us all to have a kinder, nerdier, more imaginative world to live in. And big brain superheroes have the power to create that world and I want to help them do it.